Some say history is written by those who win the war. Is it really? Did you know that sometimes two hands can shake the ground harder than a nuclear strike? Or that a single individual can outwit an entire army? Did you know scissor blades are sometimes sharper than bayonets? Since the dawn of time, all around the world, soldiers and conquerors have won thousands of wars. Sure. But what about those who won the peace? Because they also made history. Lucy Adam was born about 9,000 years before our time. In the year 515, after having federated the African continent, she set out to conquer Rome. It was on witnessing the consequences of this terrible battle that she decided to impose upon her people a strictly a vegetarian diet. And it's in 1082, following the unexplained death of the king, that she was crowned Empress of Spain. It's in fact to celebrate this event that uh, rock and roll was invented. In 1789, allied with the valiant Japanese, she discovered the real Indies, which had fallen into the hands of the bloody French. This was followed by the Great Devastation, a 100-year war that Lucy Adam ended before beginning the Great Reconstruction and establishing a lasting peace by banishing all forms of currency and violence, as well as the use of selfie sticks in museums. Hey, Lucy. Hey, Lucy, are you with us? OK, so for next week, don't forget your essay on the cultural stereotypes of the great civilizations that have marked how far will you push humankind?
How far will you push, humankind? Get ready to unite humankind with the Together We Rule expansion pack. Keep a close eye on your rivals by sending agents such as envoys and spies to infiltrate their empires and collect leverage to make opponents your diplomatic pawns. Build embassies to sign special agreements and subtly force adversaries to take certain actions. Claim your place in the Congress of Humankind and influence world doctrines to sway the international order to your advantage. Choose one of the six new cultures with the diplomat affinity to earn fame by gathering leverage and impose powerful demilitarization measures. Soldiers might win wars, but if you want to make history, remember that
our universe contains infinite stories. Most of which are about rocks and ice at sub-zero temperatures in a vacuum. Rather boring. However, on a small damp rock, there is a story that bears a second look. It's your story. But the first four billion years or so mostly concern amino acids. Not much of a page to you. But then, over time, the amino acids bond together and things start to get interesting and a bit drier. A certain subspecies of hominid discovers that you can do more with a sharp rock than annoy your little brother. Tools and weapons are invented. The hominids begin to cooperate. Fire becomes a serpent rather than an unpredictable force of nature. They learn to tan the skins of animals for clothing. They learn ways to record and probably exaggerate their adventures. Eventually, these tribes learn to build shelters and immediately hold the first barbecue parties. This is the dawn of humankind. Struggle and cooperation have been rewarded. The Neolithic era draws to a close. The whole world beckons. This tribe has come far, but the rest of their story is your story. You are the one who will build them into a great civilization. How far will you push humankind? Here is where it begins. The future that you carve through force of will and a bit of luck, out of the raw stuff of planet Earth, Alliances and enemies, wealth and danger, power and penury. May you leave the greatest mark. Throughout history, the arts and sciences have always been closely intertwined. The inventors, artists, and engineers who connected these disciplines helped humankind thrive and move forward. As a master in all these fields, I, Leonardo da Vinci, knew this only too well. But, I wonder, would you also be up to the task of meeting these challenges? by gathering the finest minds to drive your scientific discoveries and engineering prowess, you'll be able to raise the most fabulous wonders humanity could ever dream of and ensure that your very own mark remains indelibly imprinted through the ages. If you succeed in this assignment, we will surely reshape this whole world as allies or perhaps enemies.
Yes, Theodore? Will you tell me the story of humankind again? Ah, yes. Like all good stories, it began in a time of peace and with a prophecy. The sages announced that the world would collapse in centuries of war. And it all started with their descendants, the Ghanaians, who fought the Mongols and captured the great city of Constantinople. The conflict spread to the air and the seas. War was everywhere. Fortunately, once the dust settled, our forefathers sought nothing more than peace, art, and engineering, inspiring us to build the magnificent cathedral of St. Basil, and allowing us to travel by train... Wait, wait, Grandma, that's not the story you told me last time. Oh, are you sure? Let's start again from the beginning, then. And you, what would be your story of humankind? The history of humankind is rich with discoveries, research, and conflict. We know the many different stories that shaped humankind, but what if the course of history had taken a different path? The Neolithic. Once nomadic, tribes are now settled in villages. New tools are invented, new forms and techniques of art appear and inspire. But what are these unusual symbols found painted on the cave walls? The Romans. Famous for their conquests, legions, institutions, architectural prowess, and their art. But who could this strange statue be representing? Is this a new god, a king? The Norsemen. Their mastery of seafaring makes the world smaller every day. But still, who are these strange knights they fight? And where could they have come from? The journey of humanity continues, and the search for knowledge seems endless. What, for instance, could these artifacts be? Holy relics of ancient gods, or components of some unknown mechanism? What secrets might this strange structure hold? And what on earth, or off it, are those lights like a battle in the sky? So many questions about humankind's future. First, it was just a few walls to keep the bears out and the pigs in. But you know how it is. One district led to another and it kind of snowballed. Now the problem was, the neighbors thought the grass was greener on my side of the fence. But we saw them coming from a mile away. All I had to do was give the order. Their first mistake? Bringing infantry to a cavalry fight. Next, losing the high ground. Final mistake, not keeping up in the arms race. But eventually, peace prevailed and we came to an understanding. They surrendered and I let them live. It turns out, we had a lot to learn from them. And together, we became more than the sum of our parts, a unique mix of cultures and beliefs. So yeah, I would say I left my mark on humankind and I'm just getting started. That's just my story. 
Tell me, what will yours be? and fellow travelers. You have helped us persevere, and we have learnt from your feedback. Let us continue this journey together. Seize this moment. Be among the first to play a brand new version of humankind. Get a time-limited access to the game and play an exclusive map. How far will you push humankind? Hello, and welcome to the Humankind Museum. Bibi, my faithful sidekick. What is this bizarre place? Why, it's a gallery of alternate history. A virtual collection dedicated to the most extravagant scenarios. Even better, it's your playground. That's right, in this gallery, you can let your imagination run wild. And that's why, right here, we're kicking off the Humankind What If Contest. Yes, reshape the course of human history. But instead of doing it in gameplay, do it in meme play. Oh, alternate. History, meme, mind blown. Every week, respond to Amplitude's challenge by sharing your meme on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram with the hashtag WhatIfHumankind. <laughs> Fame, fortune, rewards. <laughs> to learn more about the contest and start the meme madness, go to WhatIf.Humankind.Game right now. Create your strange new chapter in human history. We're excited and a little nervous to see what you, the players, will come up with.
Thank you.